Hi boys and girls, it's Harry from Inside Boxing Brain and welcome back to another episode. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, drop me a comment below and like this video as well. Now, this video is in reaction to last night's fight between Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall. Now, before we get into the reaction to the fight, I have to say that it was a historic event and from top to bottom, all the fights were absolutely brilliant. None of the fights were complete mismatches. They're all competitive and very interesting to watch. Um, I was really proud uh, of Boxer, of Sky Sports, for putting on an event which is a completely female card. It's something that we've never seen before in history. And to say that they sold 20,000 tickets uh, and the stadium was almost sold out, that just goes to show how much the sport is growing and developing. Uh, in today's day and age. So I'm really, really happy and proud about that because it shows that boxing is getting more diverse uh, and it's inclusive more towards the women now than it was many, many years ago. So a little bit of the background and history out of the way. I really want to talk about my feelings and reaction to last night's fight between Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall. Now, for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a little while, you may have seen my last video or one of my previous videos where I actually did a breakdown uh, and reaction prediction to this fight. Um, now, it was around about four or five weeks ago, and that's because we had the postponement with the Queen passing away. So it was really important for me to try jump back online and recap in terms of what I thought and how I felt the fight would pan out. Um, so you may recall in my video and reaction prediction for this fight, I said that I felt that Savannah Marshall would dominate and beat Clarissa Shields convincingly. Now, hands up, I have to say I was completely wrong. The fight was very competitive and from round one through to round 12, the tides kept turning. And in this video, I wanna go through it, not round by round, but maybe third by third to try and discuss the key strengths and weaknesses that each fighter displayed, which led to the final result. So round one, I have to say that Clarissa Shields did look worried, even on her way into the ring in the final face-to-face -face, in the centre of the ring, she looked very scared and an example of that is here, you can see that Clarissa Shields is actually looking down to the ground. Now, I know that body language is hard to read and you can't just look at body language to see if somebody is scared or telling the truth or whatever you may be trying to measure, but body language just before a fight is a clear telltale sign as to where that person is mentally at. Um, and when I watched her come into the ring and get ready for the fight, I did feel that maybe she was a little bit apprehensive and worried about the fight that was about to ensue. First round, the bell went, both fighters came into the middle of the ring. One thing that I loved about Savannah Marshall is that she ran to the middle of the ring. She almost sprinted to the middle of the ring and it was very Tyson Fury-esque. Um, and immediately I thought, okay, she's here to fight and she's here to dominate. Um, she started firing that long, sharp jab that she's got out, pat, 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 and she was doubling it up as well. Uh, and you could tell that Clarissa Shields was immediately using her body movement to try and stay out of the way of that jab because rule number one in boxing, the, the main and most important punch or the fundamental punch to win fights is the jab. Everything is set up off that jab and if you've got a sharp jab that you can keep firing out, it's very easy to get an uppercut or a, a hook or even a straight right hand off the back of that. So I felt that Savannah Marshall started off the fight very well. She was energetic and you could see that she was trying to dominate by putting her size, weight uh, and height advantages on her opponent. And within the first two or three rounds, you could really see that both fighters were trying to work each other out in terms of what was the game plan. Are they, are they boxing here or are they here to fight? And we very quickly learned that it was the latter because both win it, women absolutely came to throw fists and none of them were really taking a backward step. Um, key strengths for Clarissa Shields, and I have to say that she is an absolute spectacular boxer. Um, definitely one of the greatest women of all time. Um, maybe the greatest woman of all time. 
Um, I think Katie Taylor is potentially up there as the, the quote as well, but what Clarissa Shields showed in that ring last night was her ability to be able to adapt and make changes within the fight that would give her the victory. I think she learned very quickly uh, within the first third of the fight that she wasn't going to be able to out-muscle or out-strength Savannah Shields. And you saw her, I think around about round four, she made a clear adjustment where instead of her just trying to counter-punch, she started using that in-and-out movement to create the, the room of doubt or the idea in Savannah's head that is she engaging or is she not? And that seed of doubt helped her get her punches off. And you could see that the moment Savannah was thinking about it, that is when Clarissa Shields would let off her combinations, get on the inside, move to the side, and then let off some big punches. This whole hype around uh, Clarissa Shields not being a power puncher, I think we need to completely put that myth to bed because that woman absolutely does have power and snap within her punches. If anything, it just goes to show that Savannah can take a punch extremely well. Um, and she was riding the punches extremely well. One thing that I really liked about Savannah was that she kept using her angles. She kept changing her, her angles when she was throwing the punches. She'd m work her way in with movement and then she'd set herself, let a punch go, reset, let a punch go, reset, let a punch go. And if she'd have been that ever so slightly quicker, she may have caught the target and she may have been able to stop Clarissa Shields within the 12 rounds. Um, I think that the main reason which led to her demise and her losing the fight was the fact that Clarissa Shields was just so much quicker um, than Savannah. Her combination punches, her accuracy, her ability to be able to move in and out of range effectively really were the difference within this fight. Um, I'm interested to, to ask and, and know from you all whether or not you think that Clarissa Shields does have power or whether or not she is a pillow-fisted fighter. Uh, I know in the build-up to this, the back and forth between the women, a lot of the main focus point from Savannah's perspective was that Clarissa doesn't punch and knock people out. Um, so I'm interested to think, I'm interested to learn now from you all whether or not you think this put that to bed. Uh, I know there were no knockdowns in the fight, but you could hear at times when that leather was landing, the crash, bang and wallop sounds um, were off-putting. Very, very aggressive fight from both women. And I really think that the spite and the hatred or the dislike that they had for one another before this 12-round fight has been put to bed. Um, the right woman definitely won, which is not something that we can say for the fight just before this main card. But I have to say that there is nobody else within the game who can compete with Clarissa Shields. Savannah Marshall is the only fighter, I think, that has the ability to be able to hurt uh, and stop Clarissa. I think the main reason why she lost the fight was because she just didn't have the speed to be able to keep up with Clarissa. And when you're fighting a woman who very rarely throws single punches, all of her punches are either twos or threes, it's very hard, unless you have speed and timing, to be able to catch that fight a flush. Um, having said that, one thing that really stood out to me is the respect between both women at the end of the fight. Clarissa actually said that I think Savannah is the hardest puncher I've ever been in with, uh, and from round six onwards, I couldn't see from my right eye. Um, so it just goes to show that that camp that Peter Fury has got and the training that they're doing really is adding a lot of skills to the fighters. And she was very close to winning. I really think that if she'd have been able to hurt her at least once throughout the fight, she may have been able to switch it on in the later rounds. But you could tell that she was apprehensive and she was overthinking what she was doing in there. Um, and towards the end, you know, Peter really started laying it on her thick, saying, come on, this is your legacy. This is your moment in history. And she just couldn't. 
pull it out of the bag. Um, I would love to see a rematch between these two women. And if someone said to me, um, you know, that there's going to be a trilogy fight between them, I would not be disappointed. Absolutely brilliant fight. Really went and, and put women's boxing at the top of the game. Um, all the women that on the card should be super proud of themselves. Um, and I'm keen to hear from you guys in terms of what you think. Was it the good? Was it a good card? Was it a great card? Was it an average card? Um, and would you be happy to continue paying premium prices for women's pay-per-view boxing? Because one thing that I did see uh, is that the UK pay-per-view prices are a lot cheaper than the American pay-per-view prices. Um, and I'm interested to, to hear from my American subscribers what you think about that. Um, guys, it is a pleasure speaking to you all. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content. Um, I'm really interested to know what you all think, so please share your comments below in the section, the comment section below. Um, like this video as well, because every like does help me um, get more, you know, coverage of these videos and more people end up seeing them that way as well. Um, so thank you to everybody who's engaging with me and leaving me comments and likes on my videos. I will be back for another video very soon. I'm going to do a reaction to the Deontay Wilder fight because he came back last night after his long hiatus and boy oh boy was it a spectacular knockout once again. Thanks for tuning in. It's Harry from Inside Boxing Brain and I'll be back for another video very soon.